Waller's YouTube channel being terminated is significant as he was looking to be Andrew Tate's heir, apparent as the face of the real world. Lost my main YouTube channel today, but like Andrew Tate, I don't cry or ever show any emotion or feel any emotion. Too bad. Back to work. Should we be celebrating a guy being deplatformed? Fuck yes, we should, because he's fucking poisoning a shitload of people and ruining a lot of lives. <laughs> What's up, everybody? When he came onto the scene, I called it. He's a puppet for the Tates. He's just reading off copywriter messages. Total fucking dork. And then he proceeded to enlighten everybody with his advice <laughs> about various things, about women and so on and so forth. Some of his lovely ideas <laughs> that came from uh, Mr. Jay Waller are don't open doors for girls. Hey, don't open that fucking door. I absolutely do not let her open doors. Do not open a door around me. In fact, if you beat me to the door, wait, I'll be right there. But you're not opening a door. Talk to fat girls, dance with fat girls so the, the pretty girls will notice. And at the grocery store, even talk to fat girls. Again, complete nonsense, not even remotely correct, but not a surprise. Okay, he was a fucking poser the whole time, aligned with all the scammers and just read copywriter messages. And I was the first person to call him out on the whole internet. I was also the first person to call out fresh and fit before anybody else, because I always call a fucking spade a spade. But without further ado, let's look at the fucking article so you guys know what I'm what I'm talking about here. And you'll see the reasons for what happened. Everybody's favorite news source, Vice. YouTube takes action on banning Andrew Tate's heir apparent. I interviewed this motherfucker's mom who said that he was lying to everybody. Right? That video was only up on my channel briefly. We decided as a company not to, not to show it. But she basically was like, my son's a liar. I showed that he was running uh, Jay Waller Fitness, which had like 43 followers prior to becoming a puppet for the Tates and having a whole invented backstory of being a, a steel tycoon. Let's look at this here. The man who became the face of Andrew Tate's The Real World Business School in place of the banned Manosphere influencer has himself been deplatformed from YouTube. Get the fuck out in what campaigners are hailing as a major blow against the controversial red pill learning platform. It was really cool. I, I've got some, I got a lot of friends around the community. A lot of people respect that I'm taking on all the shitheads. In this one group chat I'm at, he said, you single-handedly destroyed red pill. I, I go, what do you mean? He goes, all the other guys today that are attacking red pill are just repeating your points that you said three or four years ago, copying you. Everyone who disses red pill today, including Sneeko, they're all repeating points that, that you exposed first. I fucking shit all over Jay Waller immediately, fresh and frit, fit immediately. I just found out in this past week from someone who used to work for Marnie Wingirl that her products are written by copywriters. If you don't know what a copywriter is, it's a marketer who writes marketing messages. That's what you're purchasing from Marnie Dumbfuck Wingirl. And I've, I've called that the whole fucking time too. Not a surprise. Congratulations to her for fucking ripping people off in mass. And we will scale this year, I promise. Okay, you have my word on that. And I will spend money on paid ads, shitting all over those pe all over these people on a massive scale, each and every one. And some of you, you know, that are Jay Waller fans or, or uh, proponents of free speech and, and so on and so forth, maybe me thinking that I'm being hypocritical here, celebrating the, the cancellation of a stupid fuck that wore the same blue suits on every interview and spoke with a dumb Southern accent and lied his ass off. I see it all the fucking time. This is what fake alpha looks like. I see it all the fucking time. And suck the Tate's dicks. And probably his roommate Sterling Cooper's dick as well, because Sterling's been been in a bunch of gay scenes. A lot of dick sucking. Might have even fucking ingested the tube steak of Mr. Amru Foodle and Walter Weeks as well. YouTube has been carrying out a sweeping purge of big channels. Thank God I'm not a big channel. And I'm not promoting the real world. Promoting the real world. Following a Vice News investigation, I haven't looked at this yet, revealing how Tate's online business school was using social media platforms to target and exploit his young fans. YouTube channels promoting Tate and his site with millions of subscribers and well over a billion views between them have been called amid the purge of recent weeks. But campaigners warned that Tate and his team had already pivoted to using one of Tate's closest associates, US Manosphere influencer Justin Waller the big massive piece of shit who has terrible advice that's completely nonsensical. As I said, from day one, this guy is a puppet for the Tates. The level of incongruence in his messages were off, was off the charts. He was just reading shit that marketers prepared for him. Probably people from Tate's team. I'm going to be running a live program. It's in Miami, February 28th through March 3rd, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days immersive. It's the only opportunity to train with me live in 2024. Okay, you can go book a call and apply in the description, or you can book a call to find out about the eight-week program. 
It is the best program in the industry getting the best results, an eight week virtual program. So go book a call in the description or pinned comment to find out about those. As a replacement pitchman for the real world in their recruitment videos. And keep in mind, when I turned on Andrew Tate and I said that his fucking Hustlers University and real world shit is just a pyramid scheme, by definition, that's like exploiting all the fucking people that come into it. I already read through this article. Watch, they're going to fucking spell that out as well. So he replaced Tate in order to sidestep a long-standing ban on Tate content on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. By the way, there's other breaking news in the past day. Andrew Tate appealed to be able to go outside of Romania and that was denied. So he will he will rot within Romanian borders until he's thrown in prison, which will be the, the most likely effect of the the trial. Now YouTube has taken action, terminating four channels, they don't say the channels, affiliated with Waller that Vice News had flagged to the video sharing giant. Among them was Waller's main YouTube channel, which had more than 400,000 subscribers and 93 million views, and featured prominent links directing viewers to sign up, sign up pages for the real world. Look at this article, leaving the real world, how I escaped Andrew Tate's get rich quick cult. The move has been welcomed by anti-Tate campaigners as a major blow against the real world. <laughs> so fucking stupid. Which they see as a harmful platform platform that exploits young men. Now, here's one of the guys that was leading to get this shit shut down. He said, it's absolutely huge. An Australian man who's been leading a campaign to pressure social media companies into deplatforming the real world. You know, you might be asking yourself, should we be celebrating a guy being deplatformed? Fuck yes, we should, because he's fucking poisoning a shitload of people and ruining a lot of lives. And he's a fraud and he's full of shit and he's incongruent. His dating advice is not even the slightest bit correct in any form. Waller's YouTube channel being terminated is significant as he was looking to be Andrew Tate's heir, apparent as the face of the real world. This guy, a, f a disaffected former real world student who has been actively warning other young men online not to sign up to the program, said the ban on Waller, whose red pilled manosphere messaging was largely identical to Tate's. Wow, what a surprise. Surprise. Yeah, the guy doesn't have any fucking original thoughts at all about besides opening doors and talking to fat chicks. Those are his contributions to the to the advice pool. This kid that used to be part of the real world made lots of videos promoting the real world as part of his coursework. What an ingenious fucking concept. Pay us to go promote our shit. Okay, that's called a pyramid scheme. And a whole bunch of people have tried to come in and be like, oh, it's not a pyramid scheme. By definition, it indeed is. Google has deemed it as such. Apple has deemed it as such because they kicked the fucking real world app off of their platforms and called it a pyramid scheme. Now YouTube is calling it a pyramid scheme. Those of you that think it's not and that are still sucking Andrew Tate's dick, okay, along with with a, a large portion of the, of the world who are fucking selling out like Patrick retired Bet David with his fucking bell pepper nose in his Iranian roots, fucking sucking his dick for views and money. During his four month stint as a member of the site last year, many of which featured Waller, a blog Louisianan piece of shit fraud liar known for his too tight blue suits and boasts of business expertise gained from a hard scrabble rise through the construction industry. Let's pause for a moment here. Actually, we'll, we'll look at it directly after this, but I did a video fucking showing that that whole backstory is invented. The real world students, <laughs> I'm like mumbling the real world. The real world students were advised by their tutors to focus their promotional content around Waller because videos featuring Tate were likely to be taken down. They had to find an alternative to Tate. And, and you know, there's going to be another fuckhead that's going to come in. I don't think it'll be the wizard that shoots the fire balls Iggy because they like showed up at his fucking door in LA and he almost shit his pants for fucking, you know, teaching uh, men in mass to go out, go out and groom women. There needs to be a real life Batman. If anybody has seen the Beekeeper movie with Jason Statham, he basically is like fucking taking down all the pieces of shit in the world. He's like, when the law fails, you have me. Until they fail, then you have me. Okay, now I'm not advocating any violence against these people, of course. Would never do that. But hypothetically, you know, there needs to be some sort of fucking garbage collection out there. Hypothetically. Waller, whose website states his goal is to guide every gentleman into building an abundant <laughs> you're gonna say that without laughing into building an abundant life all just want to help the gentlemen build their abundant lifestyles open the doors dance with the fatties commented on the loss of his channel with a post on x and look at the humility here it included a screenshot of a message from youtube telling him that his channel had severe and repeated violations lost my main youtube channel today but like andrew tate i don't cry or ever show any emotion or feel any emotion too bad back to work yeah, I'm sure that was the, the PR direction there from the fucking company. We don't care. Our mission will continue. The real world, the cornerstone of Tate's business empire has come under intense scrutiny. $49 a month program, which promises to teach teen boys the entrepreneurial skills to get rich quickly. Wow, how exciting. 
Really, it's just a bunch of shitty Discord for, uh, servers ran by fucking cocksucker losers. And you don't get to talk to, <laughs> even even if you did, it wouldn't matter. It would you know, be fucking stupid anyways. You don't get to talk to, to Tate, okay? He's too busy being confined to Romania and, and riding around Bugatti scooters like a full-on queer. Instead, critics claimed, the site was exploiting the influencers' young fans for their money and labor. Oh, what a fucking surprise. It recruited them through promotional ads on social media, relying on laissez-faire moderation policies that YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram, despite the site supposedly having banned Tate in the real world, exploiting young fans for their money and labor. What a concept. Hey guys, do you want to unplug from the matrix and be part of the real world? All you have to do is go promote all our shit and make us a ton of money and we'll deliver you nothing. Critics said students on the platform are being exploited as workers to power Tate's online social media machine. When you're hearing this, you're thinking the matrix is behind this? Go fucking punch yourself in the face or do something that, you know, to, to get a little bit of a wake up call. Here we go with this motherfucker. <laughs> John. What these guys got to understand, John, is that women need us. Am I right, John? Okay, there we all saved ourselves some time. These students were tasked with making multiple social media videos, promoting Tate and his business school each day, with the promise that once they'd gained a big enough following on their social media accounts, they're entitled to a commission from each new recruit. There's something called fucking cut cone knives. These people used to go door to door and they would try to sell these fucking knives to all their f networks of family and friends. And what this is called is multi-level marketing or otherwise known as MLMs. It's a pyramid, the people at the top, namely the Tate and their other cocksucking associates, mostly bald guys smoking cigars with not a female in sight for 100 miles, <laughs> those motherfuckers are making a shitload. Oh, here it is. Hallmarks of a pyramid scheme. I've been calling this out. And again, I don't want any fucking credit for it. I just want the record to show that I've called all this shit out from day one unapologetically. I've gotten emails. Hey, uh, us here in the real world. And, and what, what, what was it called before? Hustlers University and our take call. We have access to money and power that you can't understand. And we'll make your life a living hell. And you know we'll, we'll assault your business. And that kind of stuff did happen. Okay, I received a lot of death threats. Our platform for course hosting was shut down. Kajabi, our platform for video hosting was shut down. Vimeo. Our, our PayPal got banned. We lost like eight different business services. Guess what? We adapted and my business is still running and flourishing. Okay. It's a multi seven figure business, hopefully soon to be an eight figure business with the plans we're executing this year. And I'm not fucking dead yet. I'm going to keep fucking running my mouth. Mahmoud said that he believed few students made any money from the scheme, despite being pushed by their tutors to work long hours, sometimes 16 hours a day, and bombarded with red pill ideology amid what he described as a cult-like atmosphere. Hey, uh, why don't you like Andrew Tate anymore? Uh, you seem to be two-faced and you're a hater. No, I don't like anyone that's running a cult. I don't like anyone that's running a pyramid scheme. I don't like anyone that has had multiple girls accuse him of rape and filing police reports about it over the span of 10 years on several occasions by many girls in many countries, sometimes with witnesses. I don't like people that have been accused of physical violence and strangulation to the point of their eyeballs popping blood vessels and passing out. Okay, these are all allegations, of course, but it goes on and on and on and on and on. I don't like people pushing toxic misogyny. I don't like people lying. I don't like people fucking running around try hard style flashing nunchucks and cigars with their stupid bald fucking head. And I could continue for about a half an hour. And there's a lot of shit that I'm not going to say on YouTube because it would open a whole can of worms. But I know a lot of people in the community. I know a lot of people close to the Tates. I know a lot of people. I was somewhat close to the Tates. I was, I was WhatsApping with them. This gets deeper and darker than any of you could ever imagine. And it's quite fucking disturbing and alarming. And when I found out some of these things, I immediately fucking distanced myself. At the time of the interview with them, call it shame on me, but they weren't popular yet. And I didn't know what the fuck was going on behind the scenes. Okay, now I do. And now I've openly spoken out against them ever since. Since the revelations in the article, YouTube has called at least 12 large channels promoting the real, real world on its platform. The band sites had more than 2 million subscribers and over a billion views between them. That's fucking great news. Let's get a round of applause for that. Okay. Progress. A YouTube spokesperson said the three Waller channels had been removed for circumventing the termination of a previously terminated user, the Real World channel, which was against YouTube's rules. Okay, now they need to get Gotis, the stupid deranged fuck that's on the run from the law currently because he fucked up some more. Again, it all catches up with these people. Okay, let Modern Life Dating smash bottles over girls' faces and say that he can't wait to, or he looks forward to the day, allegedly, of girls being raped in the streets while he's sipping a latte. 
As I said, there's huge fucking pieces of shit in this community. I will take them all head on. I will go to war with them. I will go into court battles with them. I'm currently in a bunch of court battles with them. And I will keep fucking making noise and calling a spade a spade because people need to fucking stand up to these pieces of shit. They're predatory. They're fucking ruining people's lives. They're making people miserable. They're making people hate women and be misogynist. And they're not fucking cool. Despite all the planes and the fucking cars and all the stupid cigars and, you know, all the fucking, you know, jerking each other off behind the scenes, I'm sure. Okay. The odds are high on that. <laughs> Jay Waller's roommate, Sterling Cooper, is involved in a bunch of gay porn. Don't tell me they haven't sucked each other's cock. I would bet money they have. <laughs> Pope said that while the ban on Waller was a major blow against the real world, there's still more for social media companies to, to do regarding the real world. What a fucking stupid name, by the way. Hey, do you want to be part of the real world? Oh yeah, I'd love to. Cool, all you have to do is work 16 hours a day and promote our business, and then you'll be a real G. Oh, great. Meanwhile, we're going to spoon feed all this fucking terrible, toxic, misogynistic bullshit about how women are all horrible and you're above them, okay? And we're going to make you a full misogynist and you're going to be fucking miserable, but you'll have your brothers, all the other people promoting us. TikTok and Instagram appeared to have taken little, if any, action against the proliferation of the real world recruitment content on their platforms. It's crucial that this is a catalyst for more action from YouTube, the guy says. But we have one spot in Miami, the 8th guy signed up today and there's like three or four people trying to sort out money or logistics to make it happen to be able to attend the event it's february 28th through through march 3rd we'll talk about it in a few more videos but once the spot is gone it is gone okay it's your only opportunity to train with me live this year in 2024 you can apply in the description or pin chat comment now let me show the jay waller video i did where i show his fucking fake backstory and i interviewed his mom and spoke to his mom offline <laughs> I'm looking at my Jay Waller videos. I don't simp for my daughters. He was on fucking Jubilee debating people that were being labeled as as betas. Here we have, <laughs> wait, let's watch this clip. There's only 30 seconds. This isn't from the interview with his mom. I deleted that. Maybe I'll repost uh, the interview with Jay Waller's mom. The, the cliff notes is she basically said he's a huge fucking liar. He's full of shit and he's a, a terrible son, but he doesn't care. He has the tates. Let me fucking play this, it's only 35 seconds, and I'll show you guys the fake backstory video. The whole family loved him. He has the red hair of my mother's people. Very, very <laughs> proud of him. He was very athletic. What grandparent wouldn't love a very athletic child? You know, he's always been cheered on, everybody's screaming his name from the time he was four years old on. After college, nobody's screaming his name anymore. And he doesn't have that food to fill him and thousands of people telling him he's wonderful. He's got to come up with this facade and say, oh, I had this terrible childhood you know we went through a lot of things i did a lot of things wrong children don't come with instructions you know you just do the best you can <laughs> great let me show this one other video here of jay waller's true backstory all right check this out a lot of you haven't seen this this is pretty fucking interesting here first up justin waller okay otherwise known as jay waller owner and fitness coach at jay waller fitness okay 37 connections looks pretty popular to me. His goal as a trainer is to help business professionals transform their bodies, blah, 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 five-part program. Okay. I did a little fact checking just to make sure this is a legitimate operation. And let's see what we got here. Okay. Jay Waller Fitness. Now look at this is, this is what this stupid fuck really was doing. Okay. He wasn't a fucking steel magnet or, or, or doing all this fucking steel bullshit. This stupid fuck, when I made this video, it was two years had passed. He made Jay Waller Fitness. Do you think a guy that's that's fucking making multi-millions in the steel industry, fucking slaving away as a, as a blue collar worker and all this whole invented backstory to make him seem cool? Do you think he's forming Jay Waller Fitness LLC with 40 followers? No. LLC? Okay. This was formed in Louisiana. Here we have it. Okay. Justin Waller is a registered agent, but wait a second. This was formed in October, 2020, less than two years ago. Okay. That sounds very familiar. Such as when Myron Gaines was working as a fitness coach. Okay. And then just jumped into the space to become a dating expert. So Myron pulled the exact same fucking move. Okay. He was a nobody. He took Brandon Carter's high ticket course. And then he decided to become a fitness expert, but he had never trained fitness before either. Okay. And by the way, his fitness advice fucking blows according to Jay Vincent, who said it's like the opposite of how real fitness advice should be just like his dating advice. Okay. So let's take a look here for what could possibly go on with Jay Waller. Okay. Jay, somebody sent me this here. So this is according to the person that sent it to me. Jay Waller's grift is that he is a very successful steel company owner with 90 staff members bringing in millions and also a real estate investor and entrepreneur. But here we see 20 months ago, he opened this LLC as a personal trainer. He's also a leader in Hustlers University and a coach in the war room run by Andrew Tate. It looks like they're just giving these grifters cover stories as successful men to recruit suckers. Okay. And then Justin Waller's mom 
made a video recently that said, oh, Justin's a liar, blah, blah, blah. Like she's like battling cancer and he's like refused to help her. Allegedly, this is all according to the person claiming to be his mom. Allegedly, Jay Walsh's mom. I'm so sorry my son lied to you. Hello, I'm Julie Richardson Waller Coffin. I'm Justin Waller's mother. And for the past 12 hours, I have been horrifically watching his videos. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> devastated. <laughs> Okay, so she just found his content or something, unless he made some really bad stuff the past 12 hours. At the lies that he's been telling all of you. And this guy sent me because I said, hey, you're the first one to call this guy out for not being a real expert. It's very fucking obvious to someone who's spent their whole life on the game that Justin Waller, aka Jay Waller, does not know what the fuck he's talking about regarding women. All this, oh, I hold the door and blah, blah, all that stuff's fucking bullshit. He's repeating <laughs> fucking copywriter messages. His community <laughs> posts are copywriter messages. He's not congruent whatsoever. Okay, with, with his claims that he's some you know lady killer. And someone even sent me a screenshot where he's like, I don't talk about getting girls because I'm too busy getting laid. Think about that, G. It's like, yeah, no one believes. But actually, a lot of people believe him. Okay, no real <laughs> expert is going to believe him. And I've heard behind the scenes, his game fucking blows. Okay, he's trying to learn game from Andrew Tate, who doesn't really have any game, as we saw in that public date where it was showcased. Okay, his game was god awful. It was on the level of like a newbie level guy. But since he can wear sunglasses indoors and smoke a cigar and show you his supercars, that passes off for a good game. He's like, oh, I show all these girls. He shows paid cam staff. That's not an accomplishment. Okay? He claimed 450 Lake on an interview with me. And 70 of those, he said, were paid cam staff. Okay, Congratulations. Okay, But here we have example number one, Justin Waller, who is not actually an expert and who is just a meek little fucking uh, personal trainer, not less than two years ago. Okay. Oh, but what about the steel industry? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. To go find out your training options, whether it be with me live or with one of my coaches around the world on a live bootcamp or on the eight-week virtual program, go book a call with the link in the description or pinned comment. And let me know what you think about all this in the comments. Subscribe if you have not already. Like the video if you found value. Okay, thank you guys. And I'll see you on a video soon. Take care. Take a look at the scores. I put numbers up on the boards. I'm in a section with models, and you're at the bar trying to get out of cluster of fours. Fixed drama factor, I'm a boss tycoon. My dick smell like two chicks before noon.